the machine has gone from a big concept to actually being in prototype here now. Yes. Can you talk a little bit about what that means for labs? So uh, it's a really exciting time for us, Jack. Um, we started out three years ago with something which was an idea. And in three years ago, in three years, we have taken something which was just an idea to something which is actually real. It's working. It's working real workloads. We are bringing customer workloads onto this machine prototype. So it's a huge sense of accomplishment in terms of getting something from an idea to a real thing working at this scale in three years. But at the same time, it also represents an enormous potential now because when we are talking to customers, when we are talking to our partners, we are talking to developers, everybody's reaction is, well, how do I get onto this? Can I use it for my workloads? Can I do things with it that I might be interested in? So the next set of step in this conversation now is going to be about all of that. So how, how does somebody get involved? So what we are doing, announcing at Discover this time is a users group. Uh, all of the code that we have written so far is available as open source. We will be sharing it with everybody in the, in the context of the user group. But more than just sharing the code that we have written, this becomes a place where all our customers, partners, developers, whoever, want, whoever is interested, it can actually drill down and ask questions at a much more technical level on what all this means. Uh, they can ask questions about APIs, they can ask questions about exactly how the code we have developed is put together, how come we are seeing the kind of application improvements that we are seeing inside the thing. They can bring their own applications into this environment and say, okay, so if I had this application, help me understand how this application might work inside the setting. Um, so we are looking at both opportunities for interacting with, um, say, uh, architects, with developers inside an enterprise, people who are um, system people inside enterprises, uh, same thing with our system partners, SI partners with our ISVs. Uh, we welcome university researchers to come and work with us, university professors to come work with us, because um, we have explored uh, only a handful of applications and we are seeing performance differences in these applications anywhere from 10x to 1000x. When I see wow. something which is 1000x faster, um, the first reaction is, uh, there must be something wrong. Well, it could, maybe it was written poorly in the first place. Maybe it was written poorly in the first place, maybe something is wrong. But as we have looked at more and more code, what we have found is that there are very easy things one can do inside code to get this kind of performance differentiation on the new architecture. And then a lot of hard work is needed to get the last little bit, which is always the more difficult part. So rather than having just HPE work on this, we would, within the context of a user group, now have everybody else be join us and uh, look at the community effort which says here is this new cool thing that is suddenly available to us where do we take it from here have there been any uh, exciting things that you've seen come in from the community so far so um, two things one is uh, within the context of code we have already open sourced we started out way back with a partnership with Hortonworks which um, lasted for a certain amount of time we worked with Spark code, we made changes in that code, that code has been fed back to the community. Uh, side by side, we have now been working with a German customer, this is the Center for Neurodegenerative Diseases in Germany. Um, they have been doing a longitudinal study on Alzheimer's patients. So they are tracking 30,000 patients over 30 years, oh, wow. collecting all of their medical data, and now they are beginning to add to all of the data, the genomic data from all of these people. And they want to understand in this environment, how do I actually find early signs of Alzheimer's so we can prevent this disease or uh, retard the onset of this disease. They used to take, in about 2010, they used to take, um, for running one, single program inside this context on their supercomputing systems five and a half days. That's a long time. Um, they have adapted their code, they have modified their code and today they individually can take that code which used to take um, five and a half days and run it in 20 minutes. And that sounds enormously impressive but they're saying but this is not good enough. So, so um, 20 minutes isn't fast enough. 20 minutes is not fast enough. Um, we have done everything we could to this code to make it run fast. I mean, and you can see the difference between five and a half days to 20 minutes, and clearly somebody has spent a lot of effort fixing that code. 
Uh, we work with them with the new architecture in our emulation environments on the Superdome X, and we work with jointly with them for four weeks. Uh, both our teams who understand some of the memory-driven computing concepts, their teams who understand the actual application. We got that 20 minutes down to two and a half minutes. Wow. Right. So uh, is that still is that still not fast enough, or if they if they well, achieve? Well, I mean, but it gives us it gives us the uh, it gives us promise. It says, look, guys, if I have an application that is already been optimized, uh, when we think about memory-driven computing and some of the concepts we have learned over these things, when we bring our expertise together with the people who understand the application, um, we can actually gain more. Uh, this is just one of their applications. The, the way they work with their applications is they run a whole bunch of these applications one after another so that the input of one app, uh, output of one program is actually fed into the input of the next program. Oh, so, so originally they were waiting five and a half days to even start the next program. program. Um, now they can start the next program in two and a half minutes. But if I go through that pipeline and make the same kind of improvement, when a researcher starts with this end and goes to this end, I'm multiplying these effects. So something which has five or six of these programs in a sequence, the researcher time certainly is now a hundred times better, and not just two and a half to nine times better, which is what we saw in this first program. So we are excited about this opportunity. We are beginning to talk to other customers, and the user group we are establishing is a place where all of us as a community can now start sharing these kinds of ideas, sharing these kinds of experiences one one another, I'm sure we have discovered things, tricks that we apply to code when we are doing these kinds of things. I'm sure there are many more tricks to be left, which are left to be discovered, which hopefully the community will help us discover. All right, well, I look forward to seeing what happens next with the machine. Oh, absolutely.